losing your job. I'm very sorry. Yeah, I suppose I'll have to go back to the job centre first thing Monday. Hopefully we'll have something that can start straight away. You know, then I can tell me, Mum, I've been headhunted. That's the spirit. Yeah, but it's not fair, though. I liked it, Underworld. It was a laugh. It was dead handy for seeing Tyrone. Have you ever considered going to college? Getting more qualifications? What good would they do, me? I'm not thick, you know. I've got eight GCSEs and five of them are Bs. Oh, I, I thought... What, you thought I was thick? Cos I've got a big gob and I work behind a sewing machine. I've got hidden talents, me. If you've got these qualifications, why are you working at Underworld in the first place? The same reason the rest of them work there. The money. Look, my mum can't work. I've got two brothers still at school. The social don't give us enough to live on. I've got to work. It's as simple as that. Why don't you tell that to Mr Baldwin? I'm sure if Look, he... Look, I'm not a charity case. I've got another job. My designs are good. Baldwin knew that and he stitched me up. It is disgraceful. Hey, maybe I could do him for unfair dismissal. Mm -hmm. Mr Baldwin does tend to know the employment law inside out. Maybe some sort of protest. Hey, now you're talking. Fancy you thinking of that. Oh, don't be deceived by the frail look. Like you, I too have hidden depths. There's nothing like facing an oppressor with the unexpected. Fizz, where are we going? I've told you I want to see this long enough before I buy it. Well, can't you just buy it and bring it back if it's too short? Can I? I can never buy anything without trying it first. I've not got money to throw away, you know. Oh, this is stupid. I've got to get back to the shop. Oh, stop moaning with her now. I told you, you better get a new job. I don't think about window cleaning now, no. <laughs> Oi, what are you doing with that ladder? I'm testing it. You better buy this. Hey, that can't stay there. Don't sell me that. Sell her. Uh, what's going on? I'm fighting for me rights. Hey, get her down. Don't try and stop me or I'm going to fall and break something. Yeah, and it'll be me if you're not careful. What's going on? Tyrone's bird playing silly beggars. Right, is it long enough? Er, uh, yeah, thanks. Well, you come down now then. No, I'm staying up here until Baldwin meets my demands. You are? I told you, I want my job back and I want proper money for me designs. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You know we're gonna keep me down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. So, as I said, we can't take this lightly. Otherwise, we could lose our licence. Yeah, so if anyone's picked up off the street or overcharged, now's the time to speak up. What? So you can sack us? No, 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 no. Yeah. no if it comes to it, then yeah. Because if we don't find out who's responsible, then we could all be out of work. Oh, I'm not having that. That was the work, isn't it? I know. Hey? Every time. I feel responsible in part. I did suggest she mounted some form of protest. Oh, I had something less vocal in mind. I've never seen the point in protesting. You'd rather lie back and be ridden over, I suppose. Well, from my experience, people who ride over you, whether you're standing up, lying down, or adopting the lotus position. Hey, yeah. Oh, hi. What's going on at the factory? I don't know, I just nipped out. It's about working today. Yeah, see you later. I just wonder whether or not you fancy a break to eat or... No, no, I don't think so. I won't be good company. Why are you not feeling very well? Oh, just leave it alone, Maxine, will you? Look, come on, he's chucking it down! So get her down, will you? I can't get in the cars and I know the guy's with her up there. I've tried, she's not listening to me. Right, so just take the ladder away. No, because then she'll be stuck up there then, won't she? Yeah, well, I've got to get back to work. Yeah, and so have I. Right, lads. Uh, right, Jason. Go hold the ladder. What's happening now? Get out of Fizz! Yeah, yeah mate. Thought you could do with that. Oh, where'd you get that from? Uh, you know, Steve keeps it on top of the wardrobe. Wardrobe? <laughs> It's probably the only way he can make himself heard, oh, living with her. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm not doing this to help you. I want to see the look on Baldwin's face. <laughs> testing, testing. Hey, Fizz, turn it off, will you? Tyrone, can you hear me? They can hear you, Leeds. Fizz, do us a favour, eh? You're being unreasonable here. We've got work to do. Yeah, I'm me. Sally be thinking I've done a bunker. I did 
did not. Oh, I want me job back! You're wasting your time and ruining our hearing. Fizz, Mr Baldwin's right, love. You're doing no good up there. Yeah, but Janice, I worked hard on them designs. Yeah, I know you did, love. I and they were good. They are not. Oh, that fella must have thought they were or he wouldn't have placed that order. Yeah. Do you know, he's giving me 500 measly quid and he is going to make thousands. That's business. You exploited me. Shame. Yeah, you beat me up. Shame. I don't think you should antagonise Mr Baldwin, Emily. Well, someone has to back up that poor young woman. I admire her spirit. Shame. Shame. Yes, yeah, hey. Hey. hey, 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 rent a crowd. Do you mind? We are just voicing our support for Fisk. We do have freedom of speech in this country. Yeah, you tell him, Emily. What are you doing? Well, I want everyone to see what he stole from me. I stole nothing off you. I bought those designs fair and square. Woo! You don't get many <laughs> the proud of your lens. <laughs> Get yourself covered up now. No! Are you going to give me what's owing to me? I owe you nothing apart from my month in a loony bin. You're crazy! Right! Now what are you doing? I'm phoning the Gazette. You can phone Tony Blair. You're not getting your job back. Uh, yeah, I am. My name's Fizz Brown and I'm protesting on the uh, garage roof on Coronation Street. Well, cos uh, Mr Baldwin is the owner of Underworld. He's ripped me off. Um, no, I'm on my own. Ha! See, they're not interested. Yeah, yeah, but there's a crowd watching. No, I'm not going to jump. Ah, uh, I'm going back to work. No, hang on a minute. Look, you better get a photographer down here because, right, he's got, he's got 20 minutes to settle with me or else. Or else what? You're pathetic. Or else I'm going to go topless. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna rip me off, then I am gonna rip this off. Oh dear. What's he doing? Making myself comfortable. I mean it, you know. I'll take my top off. I believe you. And they'll come and take my picture and it'll be all over the papers. I'm sure that'll ruin half the people's breakfast in Weatherfield. Look, you can stop me, you know. You just have to give me some more money for my designs. Why would I stop you? Like you said, you'll be the one whose photograph will be in the paper. You'll be the one who they'll be laughing at in the street. I do think Mr Baldwin has a point, Fizz. I don't think he's going to budge. We've well, got to! Ten minutes to go and no sign of a photographer. Oh, dear. I don't think you should rub it in, Mr Baldwin. You can see she's getting upset. Um, what are you doing? I'm coming to get you down. Yeah, well, I don't want getting. Yeah, well, you've made your point now. Come down. No, it's not fair. People like him are always shoving people like us around. Yeah, well, go and scratch his car off. Put a brick through his window. Don't go taking your top off. Yeah, well, I've said I'm going to now. Yeah, well, just come down. Come on. What? And have people think I'm a chicken? That I don't follow things through? Fizz, I can't have you half naked up here. I'll be a laughing stock. Oh, right. So it's you you're bothered about, is it? Not me. Not how he sacked me and ripped me off. Oh, you're not bothered about that, are you? You just bother about what people say about your girlfriend, I'll just get down that ladder. Hey. Just get down before I kick it away! Hey, the reporter's here! She's still got a top on, we haven't missed it! <laughs> Whoa! Right, you've got one minute left, Baldwin. You can take them off now as far as I'm concerned, darling. It's cold and wet, so hurry up. Yeah, well, you can't just treat people like dirt. The only people I treat like dirt are the ones that drag themselves through the gutter. We're all in the gutter. Only some of us are looking at the stars. Oscar Wilde. Hey, it's not on this. If she's not flashing, I'm taking my ladder. Uh, aye, I'll flash you in a minute. Right on the head with that ladder. <laughs> Go on then, girl. Come on, girl. Whip them out for the boys. Hey, shut up, will ya? Fizz, get down now. Come on, darling, get your kit off yeah. the house. Get it off yeah. the You can shut your mouth and oh, that's my girlfriend. Oh, you've seen them before, then. <laughs> Come on! All right, yeah. Fizz, your time's up. Stop wasting everyone else's. Right, this is your last chance. Are you going to give me my job back? No. Well, what about my designs? Are you going to give me some more money? For the last time, no. Let's get back inside, shall we? OK, you lot. Show's over. 
You are? You're not going to take your top off? No. She flaming well isn't. Really, Mr. Battersby? This isn't some sort of peep show. That girl's up there for a reason. She's been exploited and very shabbily treated. Here, here. Oh, well, in that case, I'm with her. Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Hey, leave him, Oh, oh, man, I knew this would end in a brawl. Enough! Get off him, man! Get off! I love you, boss! Get off now! I love you, but I saw them to show you this job! Oh, yeah! Hey! 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 Remember me? It's a good job you got your pals with you, mate. But I love you. Yeah, OK, big man, whatever. What? Oh, Hi! Yeah. Uh, I'm Craig Rowe. I'm from the Gazette. You must be Fizz. Oh, yeah, that's me. And you are just in time. All right, Baldwin. All right, this might not get me my job back, but at least I'll be on the front page of the Gazette. And I am going to make sure everyone knows what a twisty backstabber you are. That is slander, Fizz. Now, come on, you've had your temper tantrum. Oh, don't you patronise me. Right, right, you have asked for this. Fizz, don't you dare. Do you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the police aren't called. If that's not causing a public nuisance, I don't know what is. Hey! 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 Well, she's done it now. <laughs> yeah, I wish she had, didn't I? Proud of yourself, are you, eh? What are you going to do next? Take your knickers off and make the nationals? Don't put ideas into her head. Come on, Fizz. Come down now and I'll make you a nice cup of tea. Here, Emily. You'll have to make it with two lumps. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, are you, eh? Happy? Made us both look like laughing stocks. Yeah, well, it wasn't supposed to end like this. Fizz, put your coat on, come down and we'll talk. You are? You're plucky. I admire your spirit. Talk to Janice about starting back on Monday. Oh, yes. Hey, but what about my other demand? I want proper recognition for my design. Yeah, we're talking about that Monday. I prefer to discuss business in the office, not on the street. Hey, you that jealous have got my job back? Yes. I'm really thrilled for you, Fizz. <laughs> well done, Fizz. Another Goliath slain by a David. Yes, yes, I suppose there are similarities between David's sling and Fizz's bra. <laughs> Right, now it's all over, back to work. About time too. I'll have to mark this ladder down now, the amount of times you trod on it. Right, you can go on your dinner now if you want. Well, I don't want. Why? I thought you want to take Fizz, celebrate with her. Tyrone, got me job back. Yeah, well, I hope you're pleased with yourself. What, what do you mean? Well, you might have got your job back, but you've lost your boyfriend. You've really embarrassed me up there. I can't forgive you for that. Oh, no, Tyrone. No, no, I mean it. We're finished. 